little about this show and where it stands in the history of what we know about Leonardo da Vinci. <clears throat> well, uh, one of the things that's wonderful about da Vinci is he's probably the most recognizable historical figure other than Christ. Uh, there's been a ton of misinformation written about him, which I think is fantastic since the main thesis of the show is history is a lie. Uh, it's uttered by one of the characters in the first two minutes of the show. And um, I think part of the fun we're trying to have is that uh, a lot of what the show deals with is there were about five years in Da Vinci's life from the time he's 27 to 32 where there's very little record of where he was or what he was doing. And there's a lot of conflicting historical reports about what he was doing. And this show, uh, in kind of a wink and a nod, tries to fill in some of those gaps. You know, a lot of people out there know Da Vinci through the Assassin's Creed games. Did you play through those and did those influence you at all? Uh, I can genuinely say that the impetus for this show started before I played Assassin's Creed, but I was happy to see that their approach to Da Vinci was not dissimilar to mine. When it comes to the stars, they've had a lot of uh, hit shows like uh, Spartacus that spawned video games across the board. There's a new Spartacus game coming out next year. What are your thoughts about a video game based on this show? I would love to do one. Um, obviously, I'm involved in video games with the Call of Duty Black Ops franchise. Uh, I think that would be a blast. Uh, da Vinci is somebody that certainly lends himself well to a video game. What would you envision a game if you were if you if you had your way? Uh, you'd have to have some puzzle solving involved in the game because Da Vinci is a guy that that in reality enmeshed himself in puzzles and secret societies. So I would have to imagine that would have to be part of it. You wouldn't want to do a first person shooter with Da Vinci.